And uh, thank you for joining us again. I am Kemi Foladi Emo with Ibrahim Shita. Good morning. Good morning to you, Kemi. And how are you? I'm good. How are uh, you? Too? I can imagine. <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, on the show this morning, uh, there's uh, a lot to talk about. And uh, on Wednesday, certain news broke in that's got many Nigerians talking. And that's about the increment in electricity tariff by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. Well, this news, uh, even though there had been pointers that it would occur at some point, but uh, the NERC has now appro approved a 300% increase in electricity tariff for band A consumers in the country. Now, the vice chairman of the NERC, Musliu Sini, disclosed this while briefing newsmen in Abuja. And TVC News correspondent Habida Lawal has more. Since the privatization of electricity generation and distribution sectors in 2013, Nigeria has regulated electricity tariffs through the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. Power distribution companies will be allowed to raise electricity prices to 225 naira per kilowatt hour from 68 naira for urban consumers this month, effectively 1st of April. The decision to raise the tariffs nearly threefold within weeks is part of Nigeria's strategy to attract new investment into the energy sector and reduce the substantial $2.3 billion annual expenditure on electricity subsidies. So completion transition charge is based on the provision of the earth and it means a revenue uh, that a disco or a trading licensee can be allowed to earn, which will come from other customers, which as a result of the need to meet its total revenue requirements that has been impacted by an exit of an eligible customers. Because the discos are not allowed to earn more than what the commission has determined for them, but if they lose a customer that to eligibility, there is a potential for them to lose their revenue, part of their revenue requirements. So there is a provision in the Act that the commission may, at a point in time, review any application for such competition transition charge and make a determination and grants approval to the distribution company to earn such a revenue. Bloomberg News Agency had reported this anticipated hike, noting that it would affect about 15% of the population who consume 40% of the nation's electricity. The Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority recently announced an increase in the price of natural gas which fuels over 70% of the country's electricity generation. The new 2024 base gas price has been set for power sector companies and commercial users as stated by NMDPRA's chief executive Farouk Hamet, marking a shift from the previous rate of $2.18 to $2.42 per 1 million British thermal unit. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja. So uh, that's uh, the news uh, as we have it, at least regarding the increment in electricity tariff, but it's not for all uh, consumers. Uh, according to the NERC, that's the Electricity Regulatory Commission, this uh, increment will only affect uh, about 15% of uh, power uh, users of um, you know electricity users across the country uh, according to uh, the NERC out of the about 3,000 uh, feeders you know sec circulating for uh, the whole of um, consumers across the country only about 875 uh, belong to band A users which has now been pruned down to about less than 500 uh, band A users and so these are the people that will be affected by the uh, 225 naira increment uh, of um, you know the kilowatts uh, in the electricity tariff that is but that has still not stopped Nigerians talking uh, labor groups have been speaking as well as other critical stakeholders uh, in the entire uh, value chain have been speaking about the impacts that this will bring uh, on uh, businesses and on the generality of Nigerians.
Yes, most definitely. You should know that there will always be a reaction to any form of increment, um, you know, in any service that is being rendered either by the government or private organization, uh, which people will always expect the government to, you know, wade into. So the question to now ask is, who are the people that they consulted? And um, uh, would, did they ha was it a unilateral decision? Or is this something that definitely in the long run will affect the economy positively. According to NERC, they said that uh, they, they approved, the newly approved tariff is expected to reduce subsidies for the 2024 fiscal year by, uh, by about 1.14 trillion naira. You know how much we pay for electricity subsidy, which others are saying, come on, remove these. We are not even see getting the electricity in the first place. Try to use this money to fix the electricity infrastructure so that we'll have adequate power supply and then we'll know if it's very important or expedient for us to pay, you know, higher for the tariff or tariffs, and then we'll, we'll have quality power supply. But who are the bandai? If I ask you, do you know where you are? Is it, are you a member of the bandai or band C or band B, B or no band at all? Or no band at all. <laughs> because on paper, those don't even have lights. On paper, <laughs> they say band A are those who enjoy 20 hours mm. uh, of power supply. Yeah. And so they realized that, um, you know, some people who were initially on band A, yeah. that through a revamping of their technology base, they yeah. found out that some people who are ordinarily on band A have now been found under their new radar or uh, technology that they don't enjoy the 20-hour like power yeah. supply. That, so they've been removed from band A and will not be qualified for this increment. Doesn't but it? those people, but, uh, and now that they have now calculated that those people who enjoy 20 hours are only less than 20 percent of mm -hmm. um, you know power uh, users across the country and so those are the only <laughs> people that will be affected I, I know so, that I, in my own area we yeah. we get you know a fairly good you know amount of hours right. uh, per day but I don't know how to explain the well, that, almost blackouts <laughs> that we experienced yesterday and yeah. the reaction from our end was uh, okay is it because of um, you know the increment in yeah. in the tariff is that why because up until at least when I I left, um, you know, my place, there, there was mm. still no power. And, um, well, <laughs> it's, um, like you have said, it's bound to, you know, generate reactions. Definitely. And a critical, um, you know, takeaway from what you have said, again, is the issue of consultation, mm -hmm. which, you know, has always been a recurring uh, problem. You know, when government comes out with one policy or the other, almost instantly you get reactions Definitely. from, you know, labor and yeah. um, economists and other and people, groups yeah. and, and the people, you know, speaking about it. Because, like you have said, how many people are enjoying 20 hours? Uh, 20 hours you know, sometimes we have, we have power supply for three days. Sometimes you, have, you don't even have You don't all. have at so all. So you are very, you know, at a loss, you're very much at a loss as to where exactly do you belong. So is it, mm. so, is it possible for me to migrate to band A because I need, you know, energy supply? Mm. But if you don't have have this adequate power supply, they say you're in band D, we should not see that my own tariff will now be increased. And at the end of the day, I'm not having adequate power supply. So the transparency is very key in all of these things. Very Let people important. see the, the essence of this new you know, increment and let, let us feel the effect. But is that to say that those who do not have access to band A, those who are not on band A, are not expected to enjoy electricity supply? Because we are all clamoring for 24, hour, uh, 24 hours a day uh, uh, power supply. Because that is exactly what we need. Not exactly talking about Bante. Is that the way it works in you know, developed countries? And there are so many questions that you know, are really begging for answers. If I see that I need electricity, should I move to Bande and you know, pay more so is that I have enough decision? electricity? Is it even your decision to make, you know, to put to so put these are, these are some on the band A? That, that but, I but, but, you know, for me, I, I re also, you know, see that, you know, NARC also, you know, acknowledges that through no fault of consumers, yeah. you know, many consumers aren't enjoying power That's supply right. as they should. Yeah. So this is just, you know, one part of, um, you know, the problem. As some other analysts have said, mm -hmm. there are still so many other te technical issues that That's are correct. power, That's um, you know, people, you know, that, there are yeah. so many. There's so many. This Energy is just effects, one of it. Yes, yeah. this is a global reality of That's gas right. prices showing up. But, you know, there are still so many issues that need to be tackled uh, from the part of government, you know, especially, uh, you know, to boost investment in the system and, and all of that. Of course, uh, we will get, uh, you know, our... Uh,